Welcome learners. In today's video, we will learn how to write a search methodology. Welcome to Maradana's Academy, the place where people come to learn. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe it and press on the bell icon to get latest notifications of my new videos. So first I will tell you what is the search methodology. Search methodology is basically the methods which you will use to uh, conduct your study, the tools which you will use, the techniques you will use to conduct your research. In simple, uh, it's a question how you will do your research. So basically you answer this question in your research methodolo methodology that how you will do your research. Let's see first parts of the con sorry, action. Let's see the parts of search methodology, the contents of search methodology, the things which come under search methodology chapter. Let's see the first one is research design. Yes, the research design. In research, in research design, you tell the main purpose of your research, then you tell the design of your search, which type of study is where you are using. In simple words you have to tell in research design you have to tell that which research design you are using for example it's explanatory research it's casual research it's explanatory research it's descriptive research it's, it's qualitative research or it's a quantitative research so you will in research design you will tell one of these that what is your research design the design which just i mentioned then after after selecting your set design comes your population what will be your population in population you will tell in your population you will tell your uh, your sector which you have selected basically in population you tell uh, from which people which group of people you will collect your data next comes your sample the sample is a small portion of your population which you will select from your total population just say your Population, let's say you are conducting a search in employees' behavior who are working in banking sector. So, your population will be the whole banking sector of the country, and the sample size will be a small portion. Let's say, say you have selected 200 people employees working in banking sector, so the 200 will be your sample. Then comes your sample techniques and methods. You will you, in this section, you will mention your sample techniques and methods. Plus, you will give the logical reason. One thing I've heard tell you that the, whatever your research design, you will select the population, you select the sample or sample technique, sample method you will select. You will also give the logical reason that why are you selecting these, this research design, this population, this sample, this sample technique or sample methods. There are so many, there are so many sample techniques and so many sample methods from which you can select. But how you will select? You will see your search research structure you will see your research questions you will see your search gap you will see your search objective on these three to four things on the basis of these three things you will select your sample technique and your sample method plus you will give a logical reason then comes your sampling method you will also select your sample method according to your research design your research objectives then comes your data collection techniques in this section you will mention your data collection and how you will collect your data from your respondents as i mentioned earlier that the example of bank uh, they are collecting information of employee behaviors who are working in the banking sector so how in this section you will tell that how you will collect data from that banking employees then in in data collection method you will tell that which method you will use primary or secondary if you are conducting a if you're creating a research, no research to know employee behavior, then you will then you will use primary data. Okay. If you are conducting a questionnaire, employee survey, I should say a customer survey, or or you are doing observation math using or taking interviews, then these all will come in primary method. If you are collecting already published data from secondary report, like annual reports, then you will use your secondary data. In this uh, data collection technique and data collection methods, you will also tell if you are using uh, conducting a employee survey or a customer survey, then you will also mention the Likert scale which you will use, the questionnaire which you will use. Okay. Next, we have a research instruments. In research instruments, you will mention about the details of your variables, what question is items, instruments you will use. 
then in retinal techniques you will mention the techniques which you will use to analyze the data which you have collected from your respondents so that's it for today i hope you learned about such methodology because i try my level best to tell you briefly main points in simple way that how you will write your search methodology if you learned from this video then do like it if you haven't learned anything from this video then do dislike it subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it press on the bell icon to get latest notification of my videos and that's it thanks for watching